Hello students, how was your JE exam? Must have been good. And I know you must be eagerly waiting for the detailed solution, right? So, we are presenting you the detailed solution of the chemistry subject part of the paper of 2nd September morning session. And we will also try to understand the paper was tough or it was easy, which questions we can rate as good, which questions are pretty easy, right? So, let's start. The first question is that in Carrier's method of estimation of halogen, 0.172 gram, okay, it's better that we may underline the data which is important for us. So, 0.172 gram of an organic compound showed the presence of 0 0.08 gram of bromine. Which of these is the correct structure of the compound? First of all, you studied Carrier's method. Many of the students felt that, oh, Carrier's method, why to do it so easy? And then they feel, oh, there's a different type of question. The formula given in the book is different. Here they are talking in a, a bit of different terms. See, dear friends, the question is very, very easy. Don't worry about the carious method at all. Just think that there is an organic compound whose mass is 0 0.172 grams in which there is 0 0.08 gram of bromine. Right? Now, if I want one mole of bromine, I want the mass to be 80 grams. Okay. So, in how much mass you will be having 80 grams of bromine? So, the calculation would be something which is very simple that if you are having 0.172 gram of the compound which contains 0 0.08 grams of bromine and I multiply by 1000. So, I will say that in a compound whose mass is 172 gram should have 80 grams of bromine, right? See, I am not using any formula for carious method, right? And this is the trick that, you know, the examiners play with your brain. Give some words and you start thinking, oh my God, what is the formula for carious method? No need of the formula, right? So, now all you have to do is check out of these four cases, in which case, there is one mole of bromine, first point. Second, the total mass should be 172 grams, right? Now, do you think this will have a mass of 172? No, because you are having ethyl over here. You are having methyl over here. So, these two go out. These are not the right choices. In this case, you are having two moles of bromine, right? Here, you are having one mole of bromine. If you count the total mass, you are having six carbon, right? 72. Then, you are having 4 hydrogen, 76. Then you are having 1 nitrogen, 14. So, how much will that be? So, that comes out to be 90. Plus, you are having 2 hydrogen more. So, 92. 92 plus 80 is 172. Right? So, this is having the mass of 172 and this is having 80 grams of bromine. This is the answer. I did not use any formula. Simple basic calculation. Right? Okay, so the right answer is 1. So, we will call this question as an easy question, but tricky in the language. Next question, on heating compound A, okay, you have to heat compound A. It is better that you write the scheme over here. So, A on heating is going to give you a gas B, okay. So, B is a gas, hmm, which is a constituent of air, okay. So, it can be either nitrogen or oxygen, fine. This gas when treated with hydrogen in the presence of a catalyst, you do not treat oxygen with hydrogen in the presence of a catalyst. You treat nitrogen with hydrogen in the presence of a catalyst. So, which gives another gas C. So, C should be ammonia. So, here there is some catalyst. Okay. And you are using hydrogen over here to get the gas C. So, basically, as it is also given that this gas is basic in nature, you can either get H2O or you can get NH3. Now, H2O is not basic, NH3 is basic. So, we are very sure that B is nothing but nitrogen. Okay. Now, you have got four compounds. Now, see, what is the trick over here? What is the first thing that comes to your mind? That who will give nitrogen? Now, the point is ammonium bichromate will give nitrogen. Ammonium nitrite will give you nitrogen. Sodium azide will give you nitrogen. So, 
so there are three choices correct no read the question very carefully a should not be so the point is two can be a three can be a four can be a because all these on heating will give you nitrogen right but lead nitrate on heating will give you lead oxide plus oxygen gas right so a should not be the compound which is releasing nitrogen gas so the right answer is one so i will say that this is a good question because the twist comes just at the end where we people normally miss it out <laughs> right next question the figure that is not a direct manifestation of the quantum nature of atoms is oh fantastic so we are talking about the quantum nature of atom basically all those theories which you studied before moving on to the bohr's model should be over here right so let us see did you talked about the hydrogen spectrum yes this is the absorption spectrum over here so this will lead to the quantum nature very true let's go ahead look at the second choice change of internal energy of argon with temperature hmm this you did not study it at all okay anyways let's keep it with us intensity of black body radiation and the variation with wavelength and temperature yes you studied about this particular part then you also studied about the photoelectric effect wherein you discussed about the kinetic energy with the frequency of incident radiation yes so choice number 4 that is photoelectric effect choice number 3 that is black body radiation the first hydrogen spectrum all these lead you towards the quantum nature of atom so which is the right answer the second one is the right answer so in very simple words if i were to say the question is simply asking which all concepts you have to study to ensure that this bohr's model which again uh, leads up to your quantum numbers is correct getting the point fine so internal energy of argon and its variation with temperature is nowhere related to the quantum numbers okay so the right answer is choice number 3